So this is back to the Ford K, the 2003 with the battery stroke alternator problem. And as you can see, the fault code was a P0620 generator control circuit malfunction. Now the generator is the alternator. So the first thing that we did to this car was we changed out the lead battery. That was incorrect battery and we put one of these uh, silver calcium batteries in it. And it, it actually it improved the charging of the thing. You can see there in the read it, it went up to 13.8, 14. But then it took a, it went away back down to 12 volts. So we checked the wiring and we decided to change the alternator. And here's how we went. Oh. The alternator, as you can see, has now been replaced on this Ford car. So I've pinned into three channels on the scope here. So I'll just show you here. Uh, channel 1, that's pin 1, is the grey wire. Now that's the feedback from the alternator to the PCM. Channel 2, that's the green, which is on the blue wire, believe it or not. And that's from the PCM to the alternator. And the blue channel here, that's our channel 3, is the, that's the orange wire. That's the permanent 12 volt feed. So I'll take you up to the scope there, you can see pin 1 is at 0 volts, pin 2 which is the green channel is at 0 volts and pin 3 is my constant uh, live. So we'll put the ignition switch on and see what readings we get then. So you can see it just, is that on Ronnie? One. So that's it right, so we'll go and start the car now. Sorry about that, I had bad connections, so you can see channel 1, that's the yellow trace, so that's 0 to 9 volts, I've got a reading here, so you can see it's uh, about 3.5, so that's a good looking signal, channel 2 is the, from the PCM to the alternator, and that reads 7.99, and that's a square wave, and the uh, channel 3 is a constant supply and you can see that 14.39 that's a blue wave so that's with the engine running would you just leave the key so switch off and we'll just leave the key on so that's engine off key on and there's the signals so that's what it looks there there's my time base there it's at 50 milliseconds and so this is the way it should work you can see there that the multi plug has been disconnected and I'm connected to the battery and we're reading 12.72 volts, so we'll start the car and see what voltage comes out of this thing. Okay. Right. Twelve point four five, twelve point four six. Yeah, have your ever So it's just neat. With disconnected, you're just staying at 12.43. See the multi plugs being connected back in again, and battery voltage is at 14.35, so that's a good one. Anyway, cheers. Now, I think I've worked out how this actually works. It's not when the multi plug is disconnected that it acts as a normal alternator, it's when it loses communication with the PCM. I think that's when it defaults to putting out 14.7 volts or whatever it is. And obviously, if it's the multi plug is disconnected, it's not receiving that constant feed from the battery. So, we learned something on this one, and I hope it helps someone out there. Cheers.